Hey hi, welcome to another Python tutorial. Now we will see how to take input from user and showing output. Also we will see how to save python script in a file and then running it using command line or terminal. Getting input data from user is an important part of any user interactive program. Because in real world a computer program takes user input, performs some operation on it and then shows the output to the user. Until now we were using python shell and running the command directly in the shell. We were executing only one command at a time. But a program can have multiple commands to perform an operation. So we need to save our python code in a file. For that you can create a file at any location on your file system. But for now I am going to use IDLE to create a new file. So go to file menu and select a new file option. Okay. And in this new file, what I'm going to do is, uh, as we are creating a user input program, so let's print first a message that says, uh, hello, this is a user input, and output program. that's it so this will print this message when our program will run so say you want to ask the name of the user in python there is a input function which accepts string type input it is similar to the print function like above so input and it takes an string argument which is shown at the command line so we will show a message that please enter your name so what it will do is that it will ask user to enter name now we can save this given name in a variable and then later we can show it in a program so we can go ahead and save this input in a variable name and then we can print a sentence like your name is and then in second argument the name variable now we can save this program by hitting control plus s and then it will ask for the save location you can save it anywhere i will use a folder in my e drive python scripts and then we can give it a name user user dash input dot pi .py is the file extension of python program files so go ahead and save this and now we will run this program so go to run menu here and select run module option you can use the shortcut function key f5 so here it will run in this ideally and see it is showing hello this is a user input and output program and then it is showing please enter your name so i will give it a name uh, siddharth hit enter and this says your name is Siddhar. as input method takes by default a string type input and say you need to ask the age of the user so let's see how to get integer type input let's print a separation message uh, sorry uh, like this and then we will ask for the age so variable age equal to input and then please enter your age please enter your age and then we will print the age let's print that after 10 years your age will be then add 10 to the user input age and now just save it and run it hit f5 
So again, it is asking for the name, say Siddharth. And then please enter your age. I will enter 25. Enter. And it shows an error and says can't convert int object to a string implicitly. This is because this input function by default takes any input in a string format. So it takes 25 as a string and then we are adding an integer to a string. So how to solve this problem? Solution is that we can convert the input to an integer type. So let's add int here. And this will convert the input into integer and save it in a age variable. So just save it. And uh, every time I run this program, it uh, asks for my name. So let's comment out these lines. So go to edit menu, sorry, uh, format menu and select comment out region. Shortcut is alt plus three. So comment out this and then save and run it. Now here it says please enter your age. So I will enter 35 and it says after 10 years your age will be 45. Correct? So this way we can convert the input. Now other thing is that you cannot assume that user will enter only correct data. Means you need to validate user input. Consider a case when a user inputs any string value instead of integer. So again, let's come here and run this program. And instead of a number, I just write any string value like this. And hit enter. And you can see it is showing error that invalid literal for int with base 10. That is our user input. This error is because we are giving it a string value like words which cannot be converted into into integer. So we need to validate this user input. When we are giving any invalid value, then it is showing exception. So let's handle this exception. We will use exception handling in Python, which is done by try accept keywords. And also we will use loops so that when user input any invalid data, we can show a message and again ask for the age. So let's put our code in a loop. We will use while loop. So write while true colon. This is a while loop syntax. Hit enter. Notice now the cursor has some white space on the left. Means it is indented. Python uses indentation for identifying the code block. So this indentation here says that whatever code here will be that will be inside the while loop so now let's handle the exception so write try colon and inside this try block put this age inside and then put break now if any exception occurs then we have to handle this so get out of this try block by pressing backspace write accept and inside this we will print this is not a valid number So what happening here is that we have moved the input statement inside a try block. This means that it will try to execute that line and if there is any exception, then it will move the control to accept block which will print the message that input is not a valid message and again pass the control to try block. So it will again ask for the age from the user and if the user input is correct, then this break keyword will move the control out of the while loop and print this final message. So let's save and run this. And now if I just put any garbage value like this, then it will say that it is not a valid number and please enter your age. So every time you will give a wrong value like this, then it will ask for the age. And if any user will write any valid integer, then it will say that after 10 years, your age will be this. So this is the way you take the user input from command line in Python.
Now let's see how to execute your Python program in command line. So go to command line and then go to the location where the script is saved. Sorry, the script I created is inside Python scripts folder in E drive. So let's write the complete file name that is user dash input dot i and hit enter and then it will run the program like this. So this is how you run the python program in command line.